Desert Sailor and today I am adding some reef kringles to my sail here, my main sail. I have the clue and the tack but there are no lines that I can reef tie all the excess sail material when I reef this sail. So I'm going to attempt to put some kringles in my main sail. Okay, I've decided to do them at 32 inches, 64, and 96 inches. So three reef ties should be enough. And I have my sacrificial sail that I'm going to make my patches out of. I'm going to use this as my template. This was from my sacrificial main. So I did notice that there is, there's only reinforcement on the one side. I'm going to use some sail tape, just a little bit, to secure these on here so that it doesn't move when I'm sewing. Okay, well, the sail tape is whiter, of course, but hey, the sun's going to get at it, everything's going to even out. I am going to be using this kit here that I got on um, Amazon, and it's kind of cool and fancy because it comes with two sizes of these common grommets and then the tools that you need to use them. So there's the punch for the small ones, but I'll be using, and then, sorry, the, the um, pad, or I don't know what you call it, the different size is on the other side. So that's my bigger size that I'm gonna use. And this is the hammer tool. It's pretty substantial, nice material, and it screws onto the um, size of the punch you want. I guess it's not the punch, but the, so you screw it on even comes with this piece of wood, but I am going to be using my own. And uh, it, everything just fits nicely in here. The small one fits in this and gets stored in there. Okay. I'm going to try to center this diamond. And then um, putting the sail tape all the way around so this can stay in place while I put the grommet and also while I sew. It is an intense uh, sunny day but not that hot so there's this um, little trick you do with the sail tape so it's not super frustrating. You hold it with the um, uh, tape part this is the backing and you just roll it with your finger thumb and it catches on your thumb and then you get it. Yay! Okay, I did a little practice on this one. Good thing, because I learned a lot. So it's possible that these grommets might not actually be super awesome. Quality. But I did do my first one here, and um, I guess, I don't know, it looks okay. Perfect. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do, you put this piece of wood underneath here all right there it is and you get your little cutter thing so there's like a beveled edge here and non beveled so the beveled edge here and then there's just a straight edge the beveled edge is the part that goes down to cut through It doesn't go all the way through cleanly. Okay, 
remove the wood and put your sized grommet on there and put it through the hole. There we go. Bulbous part on the top. And this little guy in here. for tomorrow where there's going to be like one knot of wind. 